when kids are ready to write a topic sentence, we'll spend some time learning four different types of topic sentences and getting them prepared. So the first thing I have my students do is break their paper into four parts. And I'll do this on a chart on the board that I'll leave up. And they have an option to copy mine. Sometimes when we're working, I'll have them copy one of mine, write one of their own down. Um, and then as we move through the year and they get better at this, they start writing their own down before we ever get started. So. The first type of topic sentence that we deal with is a simple declarative sentence, and the kids will just label that SD, and it's just a very simple sentence that tells you what your topic is about. So if we're going to write about my favorite food, then I might tell you something like pizza is the best food ever, or I love pizza. The next type of topic sentence is a question. The kids just write down the cue. Okay, and the question, what's hard for them is it has to relate to your topic. So questions could be something like, do you like pizza? So my next sentence is going to tell you, I like pizza for these reasons. Or why is pizza the best food ever? I like pizza because this, this, and this. Number statements come next. And what kids need to learn is that the number could be a word. So we write three reasons in our papers. There are, I could fill in with three reasons that I love pizza, but I could just as easily fill in with a number word, such as gobs, a plethora, many, any sort of word that could be a number as well. Another way to write that would be something like, I love pizza for blank reasons. The final way to write a topic sentence is not usually introduced until kids are in maybe third or fourth grade. And we do it a little bit later. When I start with it, I'll just give it to them. And then as we go, we'll kind of break down how do you write this type of sentence. So this is called a situation stance or SS. The idea here is it's la 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 la, whoosh, da, da 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 da, ding. And that's how I teach my kids the two parts of the sentence. So these will start with words like even though, although. Even though other kids love sweets, I love pizza. Although dessert is nice, pizza is the main event. So there's a situation and then the stance that you take. And that works really well with opinion pieces.